Did you know the hummingbird migrates back to the same feeder every year? Come home to Camden with two apartment communities in Greensboro, Camden Wendover on Big Tree Way, and Camden Glen, the only gated apartment community on West Market Street. Camden Wendover and Camden Glen are both convenient to shopping, dining, parks, recreation, and the airport. Mention this commercial to receive an additional $100 free rent on top of our current leasing special. Like the hummingbird, come home to Camden. Camden Wendover and Camden Glen, Greensboro. At Volvo of the Triad, where you come first, your family's safety on the road is a passion for us. The safety and protection of your children is also a vital concern of our dealership. That's why we're presenting the DNA Life Print National Child Safety Program Saturday, May 3rd. This non-invasive, painless test will capture your child's DNA and preserve it for more than 80 years. The goal of DNA Life Print is to help safeguard every child in your state because it provides an extra measure of safety that parents need. For a decade, Painted Plate Catering and Banquet Hall has been combining outstanding food, innovative presentations, and flawless planning and coordination to produce prestige events that consistently exceed our clients' expectations of taste, quality, and value. The Painted Plate will bring delicious foods prepared from scratch in our own kitchen to you, or we offer our banquet facility on Church Street in Greensboro. Come let us show you why at Painted Plate, it's not just food, it's art. This month, interest rates are still so low that many renters and first-time homebuyers are taking advantage. Come into America's Home Place to have our experienced building consultants explain how you can save thousands of dollars by building your new home. America's Home Place has over 70 custom floor plans to choose from, like the Salem, over 2,400 heated square feet, with your choice of three to five bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a two-car garage for as little as $500 down. That's right, just $500 down. Call 1-800-NEW-HOUSE. That's 1-800-NEW-HOUSE. The Greensboro Merchants Association is one big family with over 1,500 members. Businesses know that membership is a pathway to growing their companies while building relationships with other businesses. We're committed to forging valuable connections between our members, and we build networking into each event at GMA, from workplace workshops to after work networks. Take advantage of GMA's business growing benefits. Log on to ggma.com to learn more. Come connect with the hundreds of businesses just waiting to meet you. Dixon Custom Cabinetry has been serving the Piedmont Triad area for 30 years, providing expert custom cabinetry design and craftsmanship. All of our cabinets are custom built on site in our Kernersville warehouse specifically for your home, providing the quality your home deserves. Our expert design team can create custom kitchens, baths, home theater centers, libraries, and mantles in any style and finish to suit your unique taste. Call us today at 992-3306. Dixon Custom Cabinetry, quality cabinets for quality homes. Each of us can have as clear a sense of calling to our business or vocation as any minister, any missionary, any pastor. And that is God's intention for everyone. I think a lot about how to make my, uh, my profession Christian. My life, your life, our lives are the only Bible that many people will ever read. But employees are tired, sick and tired of leaving their soul parked in the parking lot. What we got to do is we got to set a different model for leadership in the world. We got to lead like Jesus. Men, take the next step to live God's call and purpose in your work life. For more information, visit the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association Workplace Ministry Exhibit today. Sharon Swing. I'm a Christian missionary cleverly disguised as a business consultant. But when you think about our lives and how we live them, it makes sense that the workplace offers an even greater platform to reinforce those who already know him and to rescue those who don't. And that's why it matters. The concentrated focus on workplace ministry, the, this can be expanded to the point where our members begin to understand what their role really is. Yes, we come to the church so that we can be equipped, but then having been equipped, then now we need to go take the Great Commission back into that area where we spend the majority of our time. So I really think that this will have a tremendous impact in terms of building God's kingdom, and it's really an extension of the 
pastor, the ministerial team, because now we have a whole community of ministers taking the gospel out to the church. I think a lot of guys, a lot of folks in particular, don't see that they have a ministry where God already has them. What this conference is going to do, it's going to open their eyes to say, hey, you are God's person right where He's got you, and He can use you in a powerful way to impact the kingdom right there. And I think it's going to free some folks up to say, yes, God can use me, and uh, I am a minister. I'm, I'm right where He wants me to be. And now that the, that the church can acknowledge this uh, real ministry, this, this, this real marketplace that we haven't tapped into, I think people are going to get really excited about it and see themselves the way God sees them. As, their, as his representative uh, in that place. Hi, I'm Joseph McCalvin. I'm a Christian missionary. The clever disguised as a da, 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 da. Okay, that's better. Take, take two. Take. And I see God moving sovereignly in the marketplace, and we're bringing pastors now and churches alongside, and people are getting excited, and people are coming to Christ. So, what could be better than that? So many people in, in San Francisco in speak rendering, they, they don't have this yet. So I really, I really hope that they can have that. So I would just kind of pray for this. And also I feel so many things encourage me too, to you're the right place to do the works ministry. So I feel very exciting. Hi, my name is Joseph McKelton and I'm cleverly disguised. Oops. <laughs> okay, one more time. <laughs> Three ways that God uses our call in the marketplace. He uses our calling as a tool. He uses our calling as a test. And he uses our calling as a testimony. The most helpful thing that I've learned is from listening to the speakers and as, as well listening to other people that I'm meeting. And that is the power that we each have to be a minister in the workplace. We don't have to have all of the right scriptures memorized and say all the right words, and we don't have to be responsible for having an immediate conversion of someone. Hi, my name is Joseph McKelton, and I'm a Christian missionary cleverly disguised as a gospel artist. Bingo! There you go. All right, all right, let's see if I can... Jesus was involved in the marketplace, and wherever Jesus was involved, and Paul was involved in the marketplace, that we as Christian leaders today need to be involved and have our people doing ministry in the marketplace. Let's affirm uh, the pastors, the pulpit. Let's begin to applaud what they've already done and then uh, celebrate that God is pouring new wine now in the marketplace. Hi, my name is Kathy Van Meter. I am a Christian missionary, cleverly disguised as a radio host for Salem Media of Georgia, WNIV, WGKA, and 104.7 The Fish. You mean God intended to change and turn the world upside down beginning with men in the marketplace? He did. There's something that fashions a man's heart and mind and soul in their relationship to God by being in the workplace. When God chose a strategy to turn a world upside down, he took 12 men who were businessmen. And when he went to choose those to follow him, he didn't go into the temple and find those worshiping. He went alongside the seashore and found some fishermen. He went over to the tax collector and found Matthew. I mean, everywhere Jesus went was in the marketplace. Now, do you suppose that that same living Lord in this generation of ours is doing the same thing? He's going to come to you where you work. Don't be surprised. Don't wait until the invitation is given in your church. Expect to meet him in the workplace.